Hey guys, it is my birthday and today I turn 30. So yay or something. Anyway, uh, so I've never actually done a video like this. All of my videos have been about our RV, our traveling, our adventures, those kinds of things. But I don't know, I feel like 30 is kind of adventurous. So might as well take you along for what I do for my birthday. Anyway, uh, so I did have plans for my birthday. I had told my husband that I, I would love to do a day bumming around Chicago, just the two of us. We haven't had like a, a date, just the two of us in a long time. So I thought, well, that would be fun. Anyway, those plans kind of fell through and I was pretty bummed about it, but I decided, well, I'm just going to make the best of it. And he told me I could have the day off to myself today. So I met one of my sweetest friends this morning for breakfast. We went out for breakfast and coffee and that was the best. She's awesome. I love her so much. Um, and now I am in town bumming around by myself. I'm going to do a little bit of shopping and find food because food's very important to me. Y'all, I am stuck in the slow lane of cash and credit because I forgot my easy pass. I think it's still in the motorhome or something. And look, did you see that? That guy just went right through the bougie way. And I'm stuck here in the stone ages. I haven't used a toll ticket since I was probably 20. See that? That's how the peasants have to pay toll. Insert your card. Card? So apparently I'm kicking off like my 30s by giving myself like my 19 and 20 year old self flashbacks with like the whole toll thing. So I'm originally from Northwest Pennsylvania and I moved out to Northern Indiana when I was 19 to teach school here in a private Christian school. I taught for five years. I got a lot of interstate traveling in. I did it all the stinking time because I was constantly going home and stuff back and forth, back and forth. Anyway. And I originally did like the whole toll ticket thing because I wasn't cool enough to like have an easy pass. Obviously I got older and wiser and smarter and you know, eventually got an easy pass. And now I almost don't know what to do with the toll ticket. So apparently I am giving myself like that decade flashback. I didn't feel old at the beginning of this video until I said decade. 1920 was a decade ago and now I'm starting to feel old. Let's go shopping. It's where the party's at. Or not. I'm 30 now. This is actually where the party's at. So TJ Maxx was a success. I found this new planter. This is actually backwards, but you know, whatever. This is gonna be for my kitchen because my plants are getting out of control. I was looking for a new water bottle. I wanted it in black, obviously, but this is a Brewmate water bottle. I could get it online in black, but it'd be twice the price because TJ Maxx has better prices. So I just went ahead and got the white. A notebook for business stuff because I can never keep my head together. And then I got some really cute, tops that I'm really, really excited about. So now I'm gonna head to the mall. Um, I'm gonna go get, find myself some bubble tea and I have a gift card for Aeropostle and Jared needs some new polo shirts. So I'm gonna look there and see if I can find any. I did double check his shirt size before I left the house because I knew that I would not remember. It's pretty hot today. You don't think they'd mind if I took a swim, do you? This is one of my favorite little stores in the mall. I love the aesthetic, I love the colors, I love the clothes, I love it all. Honestly, the only thing I don't love is the price tag. I think I've only ever bought an item in here once. And that was with a gift card.
It is my birthday. Hearts blooming. That sounds romantic. All the little kids in the mall are like super jealous because that's the perks of being 30. You can buy your own cotton candy and not even have to have your parents permission. Okay, it is high time to find some food. Um, now you have to understand when I look for food by myself, I will find, I will look for basically anything that I haven't tried before. Um, and I do this because my boys and my husband, they're, they'll, they're not like, super picky but they're very like they like a good burger uh burger and fries whereas i will like actually pick a place or an item off of a menu simply because i don't know what it is so i passed a little asian restaurant a couple months back and i was like hey i want to try that i think it is japanese but now that i think about it it might also be like japanese and korean anyway i'm gonna go in and get some food First impressions were excellent. The food could have been terrible and I still probably would have come back simply because I wasn't in the door more than three minutes and they were already exclaiming over how pretty I was. Haha. Ha. It's a great marketing ploy and you know, it's my 30th birthday so I'm gonna take it. It couldn't have possibly screamed Asian restaurant any louder than the entire bathroom being covered in Hello Kitty merchandise. So that was so good. The food was amazing and pretty well priced. Uh, it reminded me a little bit of like eating at my grandma's house where you know They come and they check on you and kind of fuss over you and like all the things even got to Talk to her a little bit. She wanted to know about like the covering and my dress and that kind of thing And even able to try out just a little bit of my Korean and that made me really happy. So the food was so good I could have just stopped here for food and that could have been like my whole birthday. So anyway, that was really good As a busy mom and content creator, I don't get just tons of time alone to myself, so being able to spend the morning alone was really, really such a treat. But nothing beats coming home to my family. Thanks for helping me celebrate my birthday, and I'll see you in the next one.